Let's talk about something I hold out there. Geekies, welcome to the channel. We are in a new location. I have no memory of this place. Well, we have a guest. Hi, guys. A very special guest. This is Pedro. Sorry, there's no pops. No, no figures. But now we're up and close. But present yourself, sir. So, <laughs> my name is Pedro Gonçalves. And I'm a YouTuber, singer, musician, whatever, uh, you name it. Uh, I make covers every week on my channel. And now I'm starting to do some sort of vlogs, um, new stuff for my channel and to see if uh, my, my fans like them and they want to see some new stuff. Um, Trying to innovate yeah. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but today, of course, here on the channel, we are going to talk about movies because we all love movies. <laughs> We're going to talk about the most hyped slash geeky releases of this year in movies. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and we're going to start with The Girl on the Train. This is based on a book by someone who I can't remember the name of, and it stars Emily Blunt and is directed by Tate Taylor, who has directed one or two movies that I also can't remember. <laughs> I'm being really unprofessional today. Okay, so this is a thriller drama. Last time we had a movie based on a book that was also a thriller around this time of year was Gone Girl. You seen Gone Girl? Yes, with Ben Affleck. Yeah. It's a really great movie. Really good. Really good. I'm scared for this because I like the trailer, but it's very, very confusing. But I've heard of people who've read the book that it's a very good book, there's a really good story. What do you think? I think the trailer is very confusing for someone who hasn't read the book. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's full of spoilers, I don't know, because you see a lot of stuff that I think you shouldn't yeah. be seeing in the trailer. Yeah. I think it, it raises a lot of questions that, you know, you start thinking if she's crazy or not. Yeah. I don't think you should have that thought until you actually watch the movie. And I'm afraid it will be too confusing or, like you said, spoil too much. Mm -hmm. But it could be very good. And Emily Blunt is a great actress, I think. It has a good cast. The director has directed something that I know is good, <laughs> but I can't remember what it is. Maybe they know and yeah. they can tell us. But I'm sure I'm going to check on IMDb and yeah. it's going to be movies that suck. <laughs> and I'm saying it's good. The Girl on the Train comes out this next week. Um, we're putting this up on Wednesday. It comes out on Friday for you US citizens. And hopefully I will have watched it by the time this video goes up. Which means the review is already on the channel. Bye bye. Ta <laughs> time travel. Final thoughts on this? Uh, I really want to see this movie. I really want to read the book. Um, and I don't know. But after mm -hmm. the movie? Ah, but I didn't see the movie. <laughs> no, but I got... Now you don't have time to ah, read okay, the book. Ah, okay, yeah, I'll the read movie. the book <laughs> yeah. after the movie. Yeah. Okay, so let's hope <laughs> this is a good one. We are cracking up right here. Today is all about unprofessionalism. Ta -da. Let's talk about a guy who we all love, and that is Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, I'm kidding. Didn't find a Cool. cool. <laughs> who are you? I'm Professor Robert Langdon. <laughs> the other guy who we all love, and that is Tom Hanks. He's going to star for the third time in a Ron Howard directed movie and that is completely the... Um, <laughs> God! 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 
The other guy who we all love, and that is Tom Hanks, he's going to star in the third film directed by Ron Howard, and he's going to be, again, Professor Robert Langdon in Inferno, the third chapter in the Da Vinci trilogy, we'll call it that. This is based on a book by Dan Brown, and of course they Never skipped read. over the last symbol I did. <laughs> It's actually my favorite of the two oh. that I've read. I'm really looking forward to it because I like Angels and Demons most, more than most people. So I hope we get a good one, but the trailer does spoil something that is really not integral to the movie, but it's a spoiler nonetheless. What do you think? I think uh, for someone like me who never read the books or saw the movies, yeah. uh, it's a little bit mindfucked. Yeah. The trailer. I was I was sitting next to you when we were watching the trailer, yeah. and you said spoiler, and I was yeah. like, mm, okay. So now I think well, I, I got a spoiler. lot of information that I didn't need to, I, to watch I said the movie. Sp I said spoiler and because I'm you clearly <laughs> see some someone falling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's kind of mind fucky because uh, Robert Langdon, played by Tom Hanks, he's a very intelligent guy. He can decipher codes that no one else can see, mm -hmm. and since the first movie is like that, so it's. It's at, uh, at sometimes hard to follow, but it's admirable and you want to follow this guy because he's so intelligent. Let's talk about Jack Reacher, Never Go Back, and this is the first and last time we're going to talk about this because we never go back, just like Jack Reacher. <laughs> That's a very bad joke, I know. <laughs> Question. I never heard about this movie. Um, you never saw the first one? Nope. Oh. Okay, it's about this guy who's... Um, a 007? No, no, he's a former military. He's, a, he's like military police, which is okay. very weird. But he, he has this kind of way of... He has this thought process of always finding out stuff okay. and research through things that no one else does. It's a cool action movie. Not Nothing special, nothing great. But it's fun to watch and Tom Cruise is always charismatic. Heads up! Heads up! Here's another one, and, a, and, a, and another one. Geek, geek. Why you all in my ear talking a whole bunch of shit that I ain't trying to hear? Get back, motherfucker, yo! It's a good movie to see and what and eat some popcorn. Yeah. And yeah, oh, oh my god, boom! <laughs> <laughs> but I like how in the, this is based on a series of books. And on the book, supposedly Jack Reacher is a six feet tall oh, guy, six feet okay. ten tall guy, and Tom Cruise is uh, one meter and a half. Sorry, but, sorry, but, sorry about that. <laughs> but he can pull off badass. And, yeah, sometimes. And, and Robin Sherbatsky is on this one. Okay. From How I Met Your Mother. You never watched How I Met Your Mother, have you? You did? Oh, okay. Yeah. Just, I didn't see a reaction. Hello. So. Good a one. lot. A lot. <laughs> well, now it's time for either the first or the second most anticipated movie in this list, and that is Doctor Strange from Marvel. And this young man right here is still starting on his Marvel yeah. movies. Even Sorry. Though, even though he's seen Civil War. <laughs> I'm a poser, I know. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about Doctor Strange. So Doctor Strange, directed by Scott Derrickson of Sinister Fame, a horror director, and he brings the second Sherlock Holmes and the second Hannibal Lecter to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. What about that, huh? Mind fuck. Boom. Uh, so this is based on the Sorcerer Supreme, a surgeon who gets into a car accident and then he goes into studying chakras and mantras and magic and seeing things in ways you didn't see them before. Okay, but he's like the American Maya and uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. They should know Maya. <laughs> yes, you should know Maya, just to have a Maya few Maya is laughs. the greatest of them all. Yes, she is. She's the ancient yeah. one. 
Yeah. Maya is the true identity of the injured one. But but no, Doctor Strange, um, I really enjoy this character. I really enjoy the, the whole universe that is around him. Honestly, if they wanted, they could make a whole new cinematic universe around just Doctor Strange. But it's so great that he's joining the Marvel one. It's Benedict Cumberbatch. What do you think? Uh, like you said, I, I'm now starting my yeah. journey through the Marvel movies. Uh, but I'm really hyped to see this one because the trailer is amazing uh, and this, uh, the, the visuals are like, oh my god, I need it so much. Uh, and I think it's uh, a little bit darker, uh, more yeah. than the other Marvel movies. Yeah. And I really like that um, because I'm a huge fan of DC and I love the DC movies and I love Suicide Squad and I love Batman v Superman. Well, that one is a little better. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to see Man of Steel. Yes. You have to see the best one. You have to see one of the best movies of all time. <laughs> well, there you go. We started about Doctor Strange and we went <laughs> to DC just to infuriate the internet along with our... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave. <laughs> This is just derailing all the way through, but... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, Doctor Strange, I really want to see Benedict Cumberbatch. I want to see Tilda Swinton teaching him. I want to see Chiwetel Ejiofor. I said that right? As his friend, companion, and I want to see Mads, Mads Mikkelsen, who played Le Chiffre in Casino Royale, who played Annabel, who's going to play... Another character we he's will amazing. talk about in this list. Yeah, he's he's awesome. He's a badass. And I, I like that one yeah. visual in the trailers where you see him and Doctor Strange just punching each other. And all around them the city is falling and bending apart. You really have to see yeah. the second trailer. Yeah. There are no spoilers in the Marvel trailers. I haven't seen the latest one that came out this week. I don't want to see it. Because I don't even. In fact, I didn't need any trailers to know that I'm going to watch Doctor Strange. But that's me. He did it. So, but yeah. I couldn't resist. Yeah, no need. I was okay. searching for trailers on YouTube and... You're in a safe place now. He was there, he popped up, and I was like, okay, um, I'm going to watch you. We're going to talk about another one who had a trailer this week that you probably watched too. So yeah, Doctor Strange <laughs> comes out November 4th on the United States, but October 27th right here and I'm going to watch it hopefully on the 25th oh, or 24th let's hope let us know what you think of Doctor Strange and let's move on right to November okay let's talk about Arrival directed by Denis Villeneuve who's going to direct Blade Runner 2 and who mm. has directed Sicario you seen that no nope. you gotta see it Prisoners you seen that Hugh Jackman Jake Gyllenhaal Yes, I've seen that one. Pretty fantastic movie. And he has directed Enemy with Jake Gyllenhaal, which is a oh my God, mind... so good. I love it's a movie. mind rape of a movie. It's and I love the book, too. I really that like is a it. book? Yes. By Jose Saramago. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> that is the biggest plot twist of anything this year, at least. Uh, so, yes, that this director has done... Go on, go on. Okay. <laughs> so this director has done nothing wrong in his career so far. And from the looks of this trailer and from what I'm hearing so far from people who have seen the movie, it is another fantastic thing. And this is the book that Enemy was based on. Yes. I hope there are giant spiders in here too. Um, read it if you guys have it on the US. So this is about previous to an alien invasion. Mm. You've seen the ships on the poster? Yes. These ships arrive and this is about the people preparing and making contingencies to be invaded by aliens. They are not already invaded. These are not aliens who go into all-out war as soon as they arrive. Here the aliens arrive, the ships stay about this distant from the ground, mm -hmm. I think. And then the army calls in Amy Adams, who plays a linguistics expert. Okay. And as you see here, that is the language of the aliens. She's going to try and decipher who, mm. what that means, 
so she can communicate with that. The problem is other nations in the world are ready for war and they're going to start battling the okay. aliens without it being called for. This plot seems really complicated to explain, but it's really something that uh, the new villain wave always does. And he always does a great job. He always has layers and layers and layers upon the movies he does. So I personally am really excited, but what do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's, the first, it's the first time I hear about this yeah. and I'm confused, but I think I like it because I love uh, movies about aliens and mm. that stuff. So, well, let's wait and... <laughs> so, Arrival comes out November 11th, I believe. It's not yeah, the last... Idea. It's not the last Amy Adams movie this year, but it's the only Amy Adams movie we will talk about in this video. <laughs> I'm just here, you know, <laughs> enjoying my Harry Potter stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the next movie is clearly Fantastic Beasts. And we got... Yeah, you know, just a shitty movie. <laughs> Nobody wants to see. <laughs> Uh, Fantastic Beasts is directed by David Yates, the same guy who directed the last two movies of this franchise. And it stars Eddie Redmayne as its commander, a guy who goes from London to New York and starts showing us the world of magic on the US. Uh, I'm really excited for this movie, not only because it's different, it's different to pick up something that happens before but has also nothing to do with what you've seen previously. It looks different enough, but also looks familiar enough. And Eddie Redmayne is always a great talent, and David Yates is always a great director. Legend of Tarzan was good. What do you think? You know, I hate Harry Potter, and I hate um, the books and the movies. It's all terrible, and I think this movie is going to suck, uh, because nobody cares about Harry Potter. Oh, bloody hell, here we go. Are you saying it? <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I really want to see the movie, okay. uh, as you can see I'm a huge fan, and I have all the books and all the movies. I only have all the movies. Uh, so yeah, Fantastic Beasts is a movie I can't wait for, I'm really hyped for it, I think it was like my 10th, 12th most anticipated movie of the year, which was my second to th or third video on YouTube. <laughs> um, I did a top 20 list. Okay. And Suicide Squad was number five. Suicide Squad sucked. No! Yes. No! Yes, it did. No. I'm sorry. I wanted it to be good more than anyone else. Let's move on! <laughs> so now let's talk about The Rock. No, I'm kidding. We're going to talk about the movie where The Rock voices... Jumanji. Watches... Jumanji. <laughs> I can't wait for that movie, too. Well, I don't know. I'm like, mm, let's see. Okay, so we're talking about the next Disney classic from the looks of everything. Vianna. <laughs> I hate you. We do not speak his name. <laughs> I hate you. We're going to talk about Moana, directed by the same guys that directed The Lion King. And I really want to see that. It has The Rock, of course, doing the voice. Who are you kidding? It has The Rock. Okay, uh, The Rock is great in everything it does, I mean, there's nothing the guy can't do. And I'm a huge Disney fan, I'm a huge animation mm -hmm. fan, and I'm going to watch this on the Portuguese dub because I like Portuguese dubs in Disney movies, yeah. but I'm going to watch this multiple <coughs> times on the original dubbing because The Rock. If you're some man, what The Rock is cooking! What do you think? I think uh, the, the trailers were amazing. Yeah. The animation is like so great. Beautiful. I think it's the best uh, so far by Disney. And That always comes with the yeah, best movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think, uh, I, I mean, that, that part in the water when yeah, it comes so alive and I think, I mean, oh my god, it's, it's so good and I, I love Disney movies, yeah. I really love them. Disney is going to make you feel for water because apparently yes. water plays a character in this. Oh, okay. Pixar yeah. made you have feelings for feelings, but Disney is going to make you have feelings for water, Yeah. which you drink every day. <laughs> You've been drinking again? I don't even drink, so don't come in here with all that. Then whose water is this? I need water to survive. You know we don't drink in this house. Half of the world population will die yeah. because they won't drink yeah. the water anymore. And 75% of us is water. Yeah, oh. oh shit. I hate myself. <laughs>
<laughs> but yeah, this movie looks gorgeous. It can mm -hmm. be an instant classic. It still can be the best animated movie of the year. Yes. Uh, so far for me, I'll say it's a tie between Kubo and Zootopia. Disney's killing it this year. I think the only bad movie, and even both critically and box office wise, is Alice Through the Looking Glass. I haven't seen that one. Don't worry. You aren't missing much. <laughs> but yeah, Moana, Disney, The Rock, all these three words should get you excited, except for Moana if you don't know what it is. And that is the only name that it is called. <laughs> we should make a song for the movie, by the way. <laughs> and send it, hey, here's my song, here's... here's yeah, because in Portugal they decide to call it Vaiana. And Vai, if you don't know, means go, and Ana is a name, so Vaiana. Go, Ana. Even Oceania, which is like Oceana, which is like a name they have in other countries, yeah. would have been better. And I'm not voicing Maui, so that sucks. Maybe one day. For the next movie, for the second one, Moana 2. Yeah, yeah Moana 2, where Maui has a son. Yeah. With Moana. Oh my god. No problem. Vaiana, Vaiana. Vaiana. Oh, this is all for the sex! Disney. Oh, we Disney characters. Let's talk about La La Land. You just watched the trailers before this. I just this. watched the trailers and I'm in love. Yeah. I'm in love. I think it's going to be great. Emma, Emma Stone Emma sings Stone. beautifully. Yeah. And Ryan Gosling, <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it, he's it, a good singer, yeah, actually. Yeah, I, I think he had to add no, some, he had to add work. some singing classes. Yeah. But I think he's doing a great job. Yeah, but from what I expected and from yeah. what I know of him, he actually sings really well. And this is from Damien Chazelle. Uh, Whiplash is not only my favorite movie of 2014, but it's also probably a movie that has one of the greatest endings of all time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, was I rushing or was I dragging? Oh. Count again. Uh, that solo on the drums yeah. and the cinematography looks great and I'm hearing great things from Tiff. Emma Stone looks like she's going for the Oscar to Best Actress. Yeah. And let's hope the best for Demi Chazelle. Just a curiosity, this originally was going to be Miles Teller playing Ryan Gosling. Okay. And Emma Watson playing Emma Stone. Okay, I think it works better this way. Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> it works well because it's Damien, Ch Damien Chazelle, so... Yeah. But I can't wait to see this. I agree. You're, you're going to get me tickets for the, for this one because it's Priest. Oh, that, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. December 16th. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about Assassin's Creed. Michael Fassbender, Justin Curzel. Have you seen Macbeth? The uh, latest nope. version? I heard about it, but nope. I watched Macbeth after I knew that the same guy directed that was going to direct this. Mm -hmm. And I watched Macbeth and I was like, good. Okay. Good. And Michael Fassbender, he's a talent. I like the trailers, except the trailer because we only got one so far, except for the song. I am a god. <laughs> I am a god, even though I'm a man of god. It sucks, the song sucks, but I... Well, love... I can agree with you because I'm a huge uh, Kanye West fan. No, but it, I, I don't <laughs> like Kanye, but it's not a matter of not liking him. I just don't think the song fits Yeah, no, I, I can agree with that, but uh, the song is yeah. great. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of the games. It's probably my second favorite game of all time and my favorite overall game franchise of all time. This can be that movie that changes the course of video game movies. I hope so, uh, because when they announced this movie I was really afraid because we all know when they try to make movies about games, it never ends really well. <laughs> I really love Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Um, I think the favorite one, I, I didn't play them all, but my favorite one was Brotherhood. Yeah. It was really, really great. I, I am a, I am a three-way tie of the Ezio tr trilogy okay. as a whole uh, to Brotherhood and Revelations. 
I never played Revelations. Oh, you have got to play Revelations. Just to get to the end of Ezio's arc. Okay. But <laughs> I, I like what I see. I like the director, the actors. Warcraft definitely changed a little bit because it was not a I bad or awful. Watch Warcraft too. It's a fun movie, but it has its problems in script. But the only thing... I kind of am um, retreating from this is that from what I know it's 65% in the present and only 35% yeah. in the past. That hurts it a little bit for me from what I know Assassin's Creed to be. But I like as well that this movie has a different character than all the games because it, mm -hmm. I, I think it feeds into the mythos that you always play a different person in the past. Mm -hmm. yeah. I really can't wait for this movie, I'm hopeful still. Uh, it's Breeze that's going to... I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I will let you know. <laughs> yeah, no for sure. <laughs> I'll tell you, Assassin's Creed, it's Breeze. <laughs> Give me my tickets. <laughs> no! <laughs> Let's talk about something I know a whole lot of, and that is Star Wars. That is Star Wars Rogue One. You are in for a treat. Please, please be a good movie. It's going to be good. It's I hope so. Every, every I really th hope so. <laughs> but the thing is, uh, I you know I still can be wrong come December 15th or 16th, but every time I see or hear something new about this movie, just gives me confidence that this is going to be different than any other Star Wars movie, that it's going to be yeah. good, a yeah, good war sure. movie. It's going to be really different. Yeah. Uh, it's, I think it will show a lot more about the Star Wars universe. Yeah, and... it's going to expand a little, yeah, little bit. Yeah. Because it now also feeds into the gaps we're missing, for instance, in, in this case, between episode 3 and episode yeah. 4. And this movie is going to end about 15 to 10 minutes before episode 4. Okay, that's awesome. So the... I the, the thing I really want to see, uh, and I hope... Uh, uh, if it's not going to be on this movie uh, in some Star Wars uh, mm. film, I want, I really want to see a cool Darth Vader battle. Uh, I want him to show powers. I think you can expect uh, that because because I I, I I read that uh, that comic that Darth Vader Darth comic. Vader down. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I want uh, to see that so when much. he's surrounded. Oh God! I, I, have, I, need... I have read the rumor. Uh -huh. I have read the rumor that they are adapting that scene. I need that. Uh, Vader, Vader's not going to be in this movie much. I expect him in total to be in this movie for about half an hour, if that much. Yeah, but I, I mean... But he's going to kick a whole lot of ass. I mean... I hope so. Look, hope so. spoilers, but this movie happens before episode, the original Star Wars yeah, movie, yeah. and you have never heard of these people, so prepare for all of them to die. Vader is going to slash them with his lightsaber, he's going to kill all of them. I think they're going to make a very good job of making us feel for them because we forget, but we do have that unconscious knowledge mm -hmm. that they are going to die, okay? <laughs> I, I can't wait for this movie, I can't wait for the book, the novel that is coming out, written by James Luceno, who you don't know, but he's written some of the darkest Star Wars that's, stories. That's awesome. Ever. That's really cool. He's written about the master of Darth Sidious. Mm -hmm. I really can't wait for this movie. It's going to be the darkest Star Wars movie so far, maybe until mm -hmm. episode 8 next year. Who knows? But yeah, let's wait for Darth Vader to kill a whole lot of people, slash some heads, telling others that he's surrounded by only fear and dead men. I will defecate if that happens. Hey! <laughs> I want to see the the Empire's p thought process as they are building mm -hmm. the Death Star, preparing for this, because they are also looking for kyber crystals, which are the crystals that light up oh, the lightsabers, okay. to okay. build the Death Star so they can form that beam that destroys Alderaan. Mm. I just hope we don't see Jar Jar. Mm. Mm. Jar Jar, oh my god. Oh. I, I, don't, I, I, can, I don't even know why I remembered him all of a sudden, but I don't want to see him here. Okay? I hope he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have heard he dies in Alderaan, but other people said he didn't, so... Dead. He dies in Alderaan. <laughs> yeah. Because I want him to stay dead. Okay, so that is the long video about the movie releases coming for the rest of 2016. We finally did it after a few laughs, after a few missteps. 
after pausing after one hour recording maybe yeah. <laughs> this video is going to be long but it's not going to be overly long so i hope you guys enjoy it i hope you enjoy this new location yeah. i hope you enjoy the guest we had thank you so much thank let us you. know if you want to see more of him maybe on our usual location yeah and we also did a video for his channel uh, it's in portuguese uh, so if you're not portuguese i think you won't understand much uh, but you can check it out. Yeah. yeah, just for fun. Yeah, and even give us a like right yeah. there too. <laughs> and of course, if you don't know, the Doc Strange Q and A is already ongoing. You can leave your questions with hashtag Doc Strange Q and A. And ask me anything you want about anything you want. And of course, if you aren't subscribed yet, don't forget to click the button and join the beautiful geek community, which he's also a part of. We can be geeky united. <laughs> that is all, and we will see you on another video. Let us know what you want us to talk about next. I love you beautiful geekies, stay beautiful, stay geeky, cheers!